previously on the Dragon Dialogues. I hope I still have time to enjoy life and do all the fun things that high schoolers usually get to do. <laughs> the intensity is building. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. Hanging in. Hanging in? Yeah. We just submitted our final draft for the extended essay and I have like a lot of IAs to do. On top of that, there's the TOK essay, which is another component of the IV diploma. A part of my life that has really, really um, kind of relieved a lot of the stress was my club. Like you were there, one of the things that we did was the kids club workshop for the kindergartners. And that was very uplifting for me at that time. And I was so, happy to see that my club members were starting to really get into what we were doing and the, how important it is to spread that education. No, I'm more like a, a mentor-ish. Yeah. Consultant. Consultant. Like yeah, yeah. You didn't have to give up that spot. But I wanted to. Why did you want to? This year I just decided that I would step down and kind of just make sure everything is transitioning smoothly. It's like so important to me that my club continues to do what it's doing even after I leave. Last year when I was president, Kayla was my um, compost coordinator. So she was already getting into some of the, the leadership and management jobs. Now she's making the club her own and m making it something that she really enjoys. We still have, keep our vision, but the new leaders have their own voice and have their own vision. I would say my biggest struggle has been the college application process. It's a very personal process. You have to show a lot about yourself and make sure you're showing the best side of yourself. But at the same time, there's a very hard deadline for when that has to be due. When do you, when do you start getting answers? When do you find out? Are you finished? I finished one and I submitted one early action and then I'm working on nine others for regular decision. Nine? Yeah. What uh, would I'd rather just, I don't know, leave it. <laughs> uh, yesterday you approached me in the hall and you said, Mr. Neesmith. Yeah. So what was the news? You had something to announce. I got into Princeton University. It's still a decision that I make with my parents, considering other schools that I might get into. But, like, that was my top choice. The thing is, you can't really expect anything from these highly competitive schools. Like, tons of people who are qualified enough get rejected. So, I was pretty much expecting to get rejected or deferred. Have you ever been there? Have you ever visited the school? Yeah, I went on college tours during the summer. It was, like, such a beautiful campus. and. The students there are so engaged and passionate about service and being involved in like community activities and the connections you can make. So I'm so excited to like really dive deep into like my passion for sustainable development. It's just so great. Like I'm so like I've been like on a high for the past two days. Are we still gonna see you next semester around, around yeah. campus? You gonna stop so, in every now and say hi? Yeah. Actually, I'm now like since I got. Since I have that kind of peace of mind now, I'm so much more motivated to like finish the year strong and I don't have like this whole cloud of anxiety from applications. All right, get up. Oh.